Today, I'm feeling empowered. Today, I am feeling at peace. Today, I'm feeling motivated. Exhausted. In pain. Accomplished. Sleep deprived. Burned out. I'm excited for what lies ahead. Today, I'm feeling so, so proud because it's Terminus Day. Two years ago, I got a phone call that changed my life forever. She said, you know that trail that stretches from Mexico to Canada, through California, Oregon, and Washington? 2,653 miles. It's the Pacific Crest Trail, and I think we should hike it. So that's exactly what we did. My name is Julie, but on trail, I'm known as Denim. I got my name after finding a pair of jeans I couldn't say no to and carried them for 100 miles. In 2022, I spent 168 days walking from Mexico to Canada with my best friend, Emily. But you can call her Howdy. That came from her extensive bandana collection. Emily and I grew up backpacking together. But the thought of the PCT was terrifying, unknown, and honestly outrageous. But we took the leap, and before we knew it, there we were in the desert of Southern California. At the border. I'll be the first to say it. The learning curve is steep. The desert is hot, dry, water in the desert. And my goodness, it's windy. With no choice but to head north or head home, you're thrown into a new routine, a new community, a new diet. And let's be honest, I didn't really know how to use my gear before I left. The mile markers definitely came slowly at first. Yeah. <laughs> Sunrise hike to 200 miles today. It's so beautiful. But each one filled us with just enough confidence to keep on walking. 300. Other days though, the questioning would come. And the loneliness and the pain. Listy's not so good. I have 10 of them. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a lot. I'm ready for a break. <laughs> it was the ultimate roller coaster. But we hung on. And I did something I didn't know I was capable of. 700 miles later, yeah. and it was time to take on the Sierras. The Sierras turn up the intensity, and under the weight of heavy packs and self-doubt, we had our work cut out for us. Look at this massive food truck ooh, back over ooh. It's our biggest ooh. one on the trail. Yet, each morning, we woke up and we chose to be brave, to meditate on the power of one step at a time. And before long, we were climbing a High Sierra Pass every day. What are we doing tomorrow? We're climbing Forester Pass! We made it to the top of Glen Pass. <laughs> yeah! There's no denying it. It was epic. Been hiking since four, and it's so worth it. Woohoo! Simply put, 
The Sierras are a treacherous paradise. Headed back up again. Because that's the Sierras. They stretch you, they teach you, and they ground you. They demand respect. How would you rate that? I would rate it scary out of time. Yeah, me too. Uh, so an hour in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. And it's in those remote, quiet corners that you get lost in your insignificance, but in the best way. We measured our days in mountains climbed rather than miles walked. And slowly the granite playground gave way to a softer landscape. We were so, so proud, but so worn out. 12 miles left of the Sierra. And I just peed myself. And I welcomed Northern California with open arms. NorCal. The land of new friendship, genuine human kindness, and finally, some tangible progress. She's halfway, baby! Halfway! <laughs> oh my god! But I think we're all learning the pattern by now. Every section works overtime to make that northern terminus feel near impossible to reach. It's where the monotony sets in. And it's no longer the choice to be brave, but rather the choice to have grit as you go up yet another shoe size for your swollen and numb feet. It's also where climate change stares you down and doesn't let go. NorCal becomes a mosaic of green and black, equal parts lush forest and scorched earth. We wandered through the heat wave, covered in soot and sweat, shaken to the core, knowing that something, anything needs to change. Little did we know, it was all foreshadowing for what was to come. Last full day in California and doing our biggest climb today out of Syed Valley, which was like 111 degrees down there. It's a little cooler up here. It's manageable, but sweat is at an all time high and it's hot. Also, there is a fire of some sort that we can see back there. So, keeping an eye on that, but a little scary. Just trying to get the heck out of California. That fire of some sort was the start of the McKinney Fire, soon to be one of the largest, most unpredictable wildfires of the summer. There's the fire, um, still no evacuation. Um, I did just see lightning strike and I can see the flames for the first time. So, totally spooky. Before we knew it, we were surrounded by smoke and lightning racing to the border with our fingers hovering over our SOS buttons. Reaching Oregon was a feeble, rushed celebration. But in hindsight, I'm so thankful because we were some of the last hikers to reach this milestone. <laughs> Welcome to Oregon smoke. We soon caught word that the trail had closed, and so with 10 miles left to Ashland, we were evacuated. And then everything changed. With news of several more fires ahead, 
We got in a car and drove north for the first time in four months, forced to leave some trail for another time. Northern Oregon. The fires took the wind out of my sails, and breaking our footpath affected me more than I'd like to admit. I could make videos that just make it look like a party, and make it look perfect, but I cried a lot today. Um, I wanted to quit today. But it was time to remember my why. To listen to my eight-year-old and 80-year-old self cheering me on. The Mount Hood wilderness breathed life back into me. And we did what we knew how to do best. We walked. Right into Washington. Washington, where the pieces fell into place. It was off to an itchy start in my mosquito uniform. And they're still biting my fingers, which is the only part of me showing. It is 80 degrees outside. But soon, we were in the flow. It's her sound of music moment. <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah. Pushing big miles in big mountains with the pull of Canada growing stronger with each passing day. The PCT had become our home, but the body, mind, and soul are weathered. There's eagerness for what is to come, but fear of what comes after that. In the midst of it all, it's the choice to be present, to appreciate the path beneath you, and thank your body for all of the miles it has carried you. Through desert, fire, rivers, and mountains, the day had finally come. I can't believe it. It's so surreal. It's so beautiful here. Get the sunrise behind me. Let's go get that timeless. Reaching Canada was indescribable. Everything I had hoped for. But those missed miles were open again, and something still felt incomplete. So against all odds, we drove back down to Oregon, laced up our shoes, and set out to finish what we started. Oh my gosh, we're finally here! After five and a half months! <laughs> Five and a half days. The southbound Oregon stroll turned out to be the closure that we needed before saying goodbye. 
Howdy. And denim. <laughs> Goodbye to a life that had shaped me into someone that I am deeply glad to be. Goodbye to a trail that asked for all of me, but gave me everything in return. We're five miles away from connecting our footsteps back to uh, the fire closure that we were evacuated from. And then we'll be done with the PCT. <laughs> Early in the desert, we started joking that on a through hike, nothing is off limits. Waking up with six spider bites. It's like a freaking pool by my knee. Ooh. Sleeping in the middle of a wind farm. Hiking a marathon on three hours of sleep. I just uh, slipped and fell just whoop, down this hill. In between those moments is the deepest peace you've ever known. In places you couldn't have dreamt up if you tried. With people you love. I realize now that when I started hiking, I had a narrow view of what the experience might hold. But the reality is that a through hike can look like this. Or this. Or this. Or this. And in essence, through hiking is just walking all day. But it's also everything in between. It's a microcosm of life. And in the throes of it all, all we can ask of ourselves is to put one foot in front of the other. A worthwhile and courageous act. Nothing is off limits. It's always true. We'll never know what tomorrow holds. But I think that's the most stunning part of it all. Woo! <laughs> Cheers! Woo! <laughs>